every Nepali family the dream of living in houses built of bricks and concrete. Traditional construction methods is very expensive. The fire brick industry is responsible for more than a third of the CO2 emissions in Nepal, according to World Bank. And it's one of the major sources of both CO2 emissions, air pollution and black carbon in whole of South Asia. This is a massive problem. This is no ordinary house. It is built by Echo Bricks, made by local people from their own community. Just a year ago, this building didn't exist. It was built after the recent earthquake that destroyed many houses in the area. I'm Bjorn Söderberg, and I'm going to show you how we are building safe houses for poor families using eco-friendly bricks and changing the construction industry towards a green future through Build Up Nepal. When I was 19 and I wanted to come out and see the world, I traveled to Nepal. I thought I'd volunteer for six months. That was 23 years ago, and uh, I never quite came back. In 2015, there was a massive earthquake that hit Nepal. It destroyed 800,000 homes. But what struck me is that how it's always the poor families that are hit the hardest. The only thing they owned were now destroyed, and they had no means of rebuilding. It was a desperate situation. We had to do something. Me and my wife, Bina, started Build Up Nepal with the idea that the only way to rebuild something on this scale is to teach families how to build by themselves. Our technology is called interlocking eco bricks. Our bricks are made from stone dust, a construction waste, mixed with industrial ashes and a little bit of cement. It can also be made from sand, soil. The main thing is that we have made the formula adaptable to the local conditions, so what we use in one village is not exactly the same as we use in the other. It is compressed in a machine and left to harden. We have three different sizes of brick-making machines that ensures we can work efficiently, both in cities and in really remote places of Nepal. The bricks interlock like little pieces of Lego, which makes it really easy to build. And it also makes it very resistant to earthquake because you can put iron reinforcement bar going through the holes in the brick, which you then fill with cement. Eco bricks is a win-win. Our walls are 40% cheaper than fire bricks. They're much stronger in an earthquake, and it has a 75% lower climate footprint. One of the main challenges once we got started was to figure out how can we spread this technology to every village and every town across Nepal. We find driven entrepreneurs in these communities. They buy a machine from us, and then we teach them how to build the houses. Every enterprise that we support becomes like a sustainable economic engine in that area. They are creating jobs, they build houses year after year, long after we have left. In 2023, another massive earthquake hit Nepal, destroying 79,000 homes, and many people lost their lives. One of our engineers, Indra, went up to inspect the homes, and we found that every single building built with our bricks were completely undamaged in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was huge construction demand, and there was huge demand for these bricks. Right now, we are building the houses for the most needed people, the ones who are unable to build their house at regular pace or regular cost. Three years from now, I hope that this whole region looks like this little village, with small little houses dotted all over the landscape. Together with our entrepreneurs, we have built 11,000 houses in Nepal. 
but there is still a lot of work to do. Our goal is to build a million houses in the next 10 years and expand this technology both within Nepal and whole of South Asia. I believe to fix our climate, we need to look at the bigger picture. People's shoes build up Nepal houses because it fits perfectly with their dream to live in a brick house. Because it's stronger, safer in both floods and earthquakes. Because it's much cheaper than traditional methods and it's eco-friendly.